It wasn't until I made this quick, easy, but absolutely essential mindset shift that I actually started getting paid to make music all day as a rapper. And only then was I officially able to call myself a full-time artist. In today's video, we're going to explain how you won't start a rap career until you implement this key step in the process to become a rapper. As someone who literally went from writing raps with no beats in my mother's basement to being paid six figures to travel the world to over 15 countries as an artist, I hope this quick guide will be of use to you. With that said, let's not waste any more time and start by explaining why most unsigned rappers fail. When you're thinking of how to start a rap career, much like anything in life, you need to break it down in steps. First, you need to write and record enough rap to become proficient in this skill. Then you need to master the art of song structure and formatting into a hit formula. Then you need to start promoting the music you made and so on. However, many unsigned and amateur mindset rappers struggle through this process because they treat each step as an event, meaning they treat each step in the process of learning how to become a rapper as so do or die that they they waste valuable months or even years being a perfectionist or trying to do it perfectly. They overthink how important each step is. They pump fake or frankly half ass the step so that they can blame anybody else but themselves for their eventual failure. That inability to incorporate climbing the ladder to success in a rap career is what separates the amateurs from the professionals. What this really comes down to is amateur rappers say, I want to be a rapper and professional rappers say, I am a rapper. For an amateur, or what we like to call a bedroom rapper, they spend more time dreaming about the results of becoming a rapper. Stuck in that I wanna be, or I can't wait till I am, portion of the step-by-step -step process to start a rap career. Where professional artists like I became once I started to take this seriously are too busy taking the steps to actually make it in rap. Therefore, if you actually wanna start a rap career and do this full time, and this is the change you need to make if you wanna be for real in this is see rap as a lifestyle and not an event. In other words, the act of music creation, promotion, networking, etc., is most of what your real life looks like. And everything else, even down to eating and sleeping, comes second after that. Don't believe me? I mean, look at one of the most heralded rappers of the 21st century, J. Cole, talk about how guilty he felt if he didn't spend at least 12 hours in the studio each day. Tw yeah, 12 fucking hours. I remember Pharrell, one of the first times I had worked with him, he was like telling me how he had his life on a schedule. He came to the studio for certain hours. I was probably 24, 25 when he said that. And I remember feeling like, damn, that's weird. Cause I'd be in the studio all day. Like if I stayed in the studio anything less than 12 hours before I had kids, it was a failure. So look, if you really want to take the leap and become a successful artist, you need to start seeing this as a lifestyle rather than an event. Now that you've already heard this from a multi-platinum global superstar like J. Cole, let's put this in perspective from my story. Somebody who's not like globally famous, but was and is able to rap all day long if I want to, because I'm able to make something that people want to pay for. When I was in high school, like freshman year, I remember getting my grades back from my English teacher who said that while I was a good student, she would consistently, in her words, see me writing rhymes, choruses, and other music-related materials over the course of the semester. Now look, I was 14 years old at this time. I hadn't even been rapping a year and I was already fully obsessed. It was my lifestyle. In later years in high school, I can remember making my first dollar off rap in high school purely by being known as somebody who raps and school student groups would use their small budgets to have me perform. Again, this is before I had even ever released a song. That was a lifestyle, even back then. And yeah, I know this isn't something wild to flex on, like, ooh, you got paid a couple bucks by a student group in high school, whoop de doo But yeah, dude, that's the whole point. You don't have to be a super dripped out, crazy alien rapper from Mars in order to start making money from this thing. You just have to make the shift, as we've just described, and turn rap into a lifestyle and not an event. Now, if you're ready to start a successful rap career right now, check out our best-selling artist development course, Rap Tycoon, where we'll show you in just six weeks how to begin a full-time rap career. You can find more information about that by clicking the first link in the video description. And hopefully you found this quick mindset shift in how to start a rap career helpful for your journey. I'm the big homie Drew for How to Rap. I appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.